Good morning. This is Bill from Audi Europa Naples, and today I'm here to tell you that not all used cars are created equally. I mean, I know that's a bit obvious, but uh, you know, sometimes it just really stands out. And this is one of those times. Uh, this is a 2003 Mercedes-Benz E320 sedan. Uh, you know, it's essentially a nondescript piece. It's not, you know, full of V8s and super high-performance suspension. It's not, uh, you know, low and sleek to the ground. Uh, what it is is a very dependable, reliable, luxurious mode of transport that does exactly what it's built to do and does it extremely well. And in particular, this used car, it just stands head and shoulders above most uh, most of the comparables, and we'll get into why. Uh, you know, it was a trade-in at uh, actually at a local Ford dealership. Not sure what they bought. Uh, it uh, shows to be a two-owner car, so uh, I presume it's somebody who bought it with very low miles and kept it uh, until this point in time, uh, and kept it very, very well. And I can tell you, whoever buys this thing is going to be lucky. You know, if I were looking for this car for someone, and this is a car that I do look for for people, uh, you know, from time to time, someone comes to me and says, hey, I need good, reliable, cheap transportation, you know, get where I'm going or send my kid off to school or, you know, do, you know, some form of, you know, battle with the road. Uh, an E-Class is one of the first places that I'm gonna look because they're built incredibly well. It's Mercedes-Benz bread and butter car. They sell a ton of them. They've been selling them for years. Uh, they have an actual, you know, taxi package in Europe uh, where you can buy them with window cranks. And one of the reasons for that is they just hold together so well. You can put a ton of miles on them and uh, they're safe and, and do what they're supposed to do. Uh, now getting into why this car is fantastic, have a look at these headlights. They really tell the story of the car. Uh, you know, I can't tell you how many E-classes I see of much later vintages that come in with crusty, yellow, nasty-looking headlights. These things are perfection from top to bottom. Even up at the very tops where it all begins, it is smooth and almost oily to the touch in its perfection. So, uh, you know, that really tells you something about how this car was kept indoors and, uh, you know, just not driven in a harsh manner and left out of the sun and uh, is very, very special all around. You can see the same on the chrome on the car, the bright work, exceptional. I've seen these uh, hood stars, all the blue is gone, uh, the chrome is crusty and pimpled, uh, just looks nasty. Uh, ditto on the front bumper, you often see those things cracked, scratched up. You know, I do some reconditioning on cars when they come in, you have to. I didn't have to do a damn thing to this. I mean, it came in, we, we went through it in the shop, found virtually nothing to do, uh, ran it through detail where it was gravy work for uh, our guy Greg, and uh, put it out on the lot. Uh, here's another thing that tells the story of the car. It has a very nice set of fresh Michelins on there. They're not brand new, but, uh, you know, they probably have 10,000 miles on them. And, you know, some guy who puts Michelins on his car has spent you know, 50 or 60% more on tires than he needs to. He could put a set of, you know, Fusions or Sumitomos or any other fine tire, but uh, Michelin's cost more. And a guy who buys those and puts them on is definitely more likely to have changed his oil and changed it on time or done a tranny service. Oh boy, I better not put it that way. <clears throat> Uh, you know, done a transmission service or, a, you know, the, if it's got a leaking valve cover. They, they've been more, if, just in short, they're more likely to have maintained their car. And uh, that really just holds true in this one. Uh, cosmetically, it's an excellent, excellent condition. It's all original paint. Very, very clean from front to back. There's no curb brush on the wheels. It's got all the valve stem caps and it came in with them. Uh, the rear taillights, they're the same story as the front perfect uh the e320 badging i mean i just can't tell you how nice it is to take in a used car in this condition uh it really uh warms my heart to see people keeping them this way okay back here uh more news so there's the original formats of the car bear in mind that these things are what they're 14 15 years old now and that's the way they look and the car has 80,000 miles on it so it's not a garage queen i mean 80 is obviously very low for the year 
But uh, I've seen, you know, animals who could wear out a set of floor mats in 5,000 miles. Uh, underneath here, it's the surprise, surprise. Uh, you think there's a spare tire, but there's not. But then you lift that panel up, and then there is. <laughs> I can't tell you how many guys come in after we sell them the car and uh, tell me they have no spare tire in their thing. So we have to show them that. Uh, the trunk is exceptional in knee class. Again, you know, just huge room. And part of why they do use them as that taxi package in Europe. I mean, it goes deep. Uh, you'll be able to put anything you want back there, anvils, uh, you know, you name it, crates of ammo, whatever turns you on is going to fit in the back of this car. Let's have a look under the hood. And, you know, the treat about this is, is it's, you know, $50,000 plus car. In 03, it was twice the price of a uh, very well-equipped Honda Accord. And, you know, there's good reason for that, far more than just the Mercedes star on the hood. Uh, the engineering that's in it, the, uh, the materials, the luxury appointments, uh, the safety, uh, you know, these things are fantastic cars. They're safer probably than most of the new cars on the road today. Uh, you see it as a 3.2 liter V6, a very reliable workhorse for Mercedes used in a bunch of their cars, about 221 horsepower, uh, you know, sulky smooth, very buttery. Uh, you can see it's mint under the hood of the car, just lovely, never been up north to the salty misery and uh, everything proper there. Uh, that goes through a five-speed automatic transmission, shifts very nice, and again, totally bulletproof. Uh, the drivetrain in this car is fantastic. Nice big uh, power sunroof there. Okay, here in the back, you can see absolutely beautiful uh, leather seating. Absolutely lovely, mint condition. Beautiful bunched leather with uh, rear airbags in the back. And again, that rear airbags in 03, that wasn't on every car. You know, that was a little bit, uh, uh, you know, a little bit special. You've got beautiful wood trim with, uh, this wood is nicer than the wood in the new E-classes. They've cheapened it up. It's not the same. Uh, you know, really nice stuff in this car. Beautiful fit and finish. Again, it's a Mercedes and it shows the quality of the, the materials. Back here, you've got uh, uh, three headrests. These things can be pulled up manually and released with a button. So also got a very tight center armrest here with a little bit of organizational stuff for your pens and business cards. Uh, if you're sitting back there, you can, you know, keep everything nice and tidy them back pockets i mean very often i see these things sagging drooping the edges are broken off you know over here the vents are missing their adjusters i am telling you whoever had this car really knew how to keep a used car okay up here beautiful 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 and again this is a car that's so inexpensive for what it is i the iphone you know, makes everything just look terrible i gotta upgrade this damn phone uh, all right, anyway, look at the door panel on this thing. Again, with the beautiful bunched leather, the wood, the 12-way power seats with memory, the power mirrors, power windows, power trunk release. Down here, this felt covering, uh, and in here, I am telling you, on almost every one of these older ones that comes in, this is all peeling off or stained or nasty. Uh, you know, again, the people that own this thing, God bless them. I wonder if they weren't German. All right, so let's hop in, fire it up. I love these little compartments they give you under the seat. You can put your first aid uh, kit in there. It's not quite big enough for an Uzi, but you probably get some sort of small size nine in there. All right. Nice solid thud when you close the door. We've got the sun incurring on our video, which sucks. I gotta get up earlier. I guess it's a time change next week, so I'll be in good shape. Okay, very nicely laid out instrument cluster. You see 81,000 miles on the clock, and it's very simple and easy to, to glance at and see what you wanna see. Uh, you got a clock, you got your driver information center in the middle, you can go through your radio, it'll tell you there's no malfunctions. That's a nice thing. You can change your settings, you got your temperature display. Uh, you got a pretty small size tack over there to the right, but it's there. Uh, we have a quarter tank of gas, so they tried to screw me, but they couldn't. 
uh, it's enough gas to still not turn the light on. Uh, you've got your, uh, of course, your engine temperature. Here you've got automatic headlights. Uh, you got a fully power adjustable steering column in and out that ties into the memory seats as do the mirrors. So uh, very nice stuff there. And again, that's what makes these things such great used cars is they're, you know, full of the luxury features that made them cost, uh, you know, 50 grand plus. And they're still, you know, under 10 grand and uh, just incredibly rewarding cars to own. Uh, beautiful dash. I like the swoops and curves in it with the wood. Uh, you've got your dual side climate control. We're a little bit chilly in Naples this morning. I think it was 61 when I woke up. So uh, I have it set almost to a heat setting. Uh, your defrosts, your various, you know, positioning. You can go through and change where the air comes out. On uh, the wheel, of course, an airbag, multifunction. Uh, goes through all the stuff. Uh, don't get excited by the phone. It's 03. That's definitely not Bluetooth. Uh, down here, you've got what I think is one of the better looking radios that Mercedes ever made. Uh, you know, it was for this year only. It has this great little cassette slider where you pop that, it pops up. You could put your cassette in, uh, close it down manually, and uh, lovely. This went to a full screen the year later, which of course is better, but I just think this is a good looking uh, radio. All right, so another phone call did come in, which stops the video. Now, I keep getting tips about uh, Bluetooth and, and, you know, turning on airplane mode. And I'll just tell you, everything I try, it doesn't seem to work with my damn uh, headset, which is uh, better for the audio. So uh, the only thing I can do is I'm going to upgrade the damn phone and uh, maybe get two at the same time so I can do it. Anyway, as I was saying, best looking radio I think Mercedes ever made. Uh, really, really looks good in this car and just kind of intricate and cool with all the sliders. Uh, you got a little ashtray down here if you had decided to smoke. I don't think these people did. No, look at that. Of course, a non-smoker car. Uh, you got your heated seats. You got your lock and unlock, your headrests. You can use those to flip them down. Uh, here's a shifter that if you look at all the wood and how lovely it is. Okay, and then you've got a little bit of fading on the top of this thing. I have seen these things crusty and white from fade, but never mind the rest of the wood, which is also faded. Uh, I'm just telling you, this car is special. Uh, you got a winter summer setting. Uh, here's another alert the Catholic Church miracle cup holder situation. Uh, look at that thing. I mean, the world's most over engineered fragile cup holder, and it still works perfectly. So, testament to who owned the car. Uh, you've got a little compartment here on top. You've got another compartment on the bottom. Uh, over here, you've got uh, a pull-out uh, thing. I've got a second key in there. Uh, here's your glove box, which, uh, you know, all the books, all the stuff that came with it, and even the factory window sticker that's been neatly folded and kept uh, very clean. And as you see, this thing was 52 grand when it was new, and uh, that's just, you know, tells you how much stuff is loaded into here. Uh, you can see it's brilliant silver metallic outside. The ash leather package was uh, almost 1500 bucks. The uh, factory installed CD changer, the heated front seats. I tell you what, this thing's just a champion, absolute champion. Uh, nice big power sunroof that hasn't been programmed. Okay, so we're gonna do that now. Press and hold it. and back you go. So uh, if you ever run in your windows or your sunroof and they're not working one touch, uh, run them all the way up or the sunroof all the way forward, press it and hold it for about five seconds and uh, it'll reprogram the, uh, the unit. That happens after you change a battery when somebody doesn't bother to do that. Uh, here's a self-dimming uh, rear view mirror with your home leg uh, garage door stuff. Uh, look at the headliner, just how clean it is. Oh, God, I'll tell you, I'm raving about this car, but it really deserves it. It really, really does. I just love getting a nice, clean car. Ah, there's Pam walking her dog. She's a little late this morning. How you doing, Pam? What a sweetheart. Uh, anyway, car goes down the road beautifully. Those Michelins are nice and smooth. The 3.2 liter V6 gives you ample power. Uh, the, the tranny shifts, there I go again. The transmission shifts really nice. You have to be uh, socially conscious in this day and age. You don't know who you're gonna offend, even from 20 feet away. Uh, yeah, let me give you a little pep out of this thing. Are we in the, we're in winter mode. Let's go to summer. Give it a little bit of a hammer. 
So you can see it moves the car down the road just fine. You're not going to have any trouble merging onto on-ramps or anything. It won't throw your head back in the seat, but it's, it's all you need to move the car forward. And again, if you're looking for fantastic, luxurious, inexpensive, reliable transportation, then uh, this thing will do just fine. And uh, frankly, it's, uh, you know, you could even show this car <laughs> as clean as it is for an 03. Uh, you know, take it to your local Mercedes show. People are going to be just amazed. So uh, anyway, there it is. 2003 Mercedes-Benz E320 uh, sedan. Lovely condition throughout. Beautiful leather. Beautiful exterior. All original. No issues at all. This thing is a sweetheart. Uh, if you have an interest, give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We really appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.